Hi friends, welcome to our channel Affairs Cloud. Today I am going to suggest you a best app in the platform. The app name is Careers Cloud. You can download our app from the Play Store and it will be very much helpful for your preparation for current affairs, banking and insurance. You can uh, use this app for preparing for SSC and railways and even UPSC exam. And once you log in, sorry, once you download, you can log in with your Gmail ID. Okay. And once you log in, we will be providing various offers for you so that you can get our products at a discounted price. So good contents at a very low price, you can get it. And about our app, like see, uh, you are having many contents for learning. We will be providing exam wise content also, topic wise content also. We will be providing content and we will be providing quiz also. So like you can read the content and you can uh, uh, revise, revise your what you, are, what all you have learned uh, by using our quizzes. See in this slide we can see like we are providing see banking and economy separately we are providing for a clerk exam we are providing separately and even state wise current affairs it has been given separately and for a uh, see for a uh, national wise also is given to separately so what will happen in this is you are learning contents topic wise so you won't get confused between the uh, what and all you are learning you won't get confused and we will be providing quizzes also for this content separately so topic wise quizzes will be there so you won't get confused in the exam also which will be very helpful for you to remembering the answers see in this slider we have see we have provided like a um, day wise current affairs so once you read the day wise current affairs you can uh, use this and you can revise for the quizzes and here we have provided weekly current affairs also so once you are completed with your day wise current affairs you can go to our weekly current affairs quiz section and you can revise there and after that you can revise this monthly current affairs also so what will happen is you are uh, read daily current affairs and you have practiced uh, daily quiz uh, and you have practiced a monthly quiz and weekly quiz also so multiple revision section wise it will be very helpful for you to remember the answers and so that in the exam you won't forget it very easily and you can score the marks so kindly try the office careers cloud app and get benefited friends okay now we are going to see banking and finance related current affairs of current happenings first current affairs it is about a three company that has come for IPO okay now what is this uh, IPO uh, what is the abbreviation means it is initial public offering okay see assume one company A is there it needs some funds for uh, some internal purposes for that company what that company will do is it get uh, listed in the stock exchange what is mean being listed means uh, it is going to sell its stocks in stock exchange okay it will come to stock exchange and it will sell their stocks and uh, if a company is coming first time to stock exchange to sell its stocks to raise funds for their needs it is called initial public offering so initial public offering means first time the company is coming to stock exchange to get its stock list listed and uh, to raise funds okay now you will get it out first time it is called initial public offering if again for second time also uh, if already the stock exchange is listed uh, and they will be the stocks will be traded in the stock exchange now again and again they will be trading their stocks first time it is called ipo which is called initial public offering from next time it will be called fpo what is this FPO is follow up public offering so first time IPO from next it is called FPO okay and this uh, uh, stocks are there now that company can choose um, where they need to list their stocks where they need means in India we are having two stock exchanges now like one is uh, BSE 
another one is nsc mostly most companies get listed in both stock exchange but uh, some companies they prefer only to get listed in bsc and some companies they prefer only to get listed in nsc so it is up to the company's wish to get listed in either one of this or both of this okay so the here uh, fedfina fedfina ireda epac durables and suraj estate developers this four companies has got note from sebi to float ipos float ipos to get listed in the stock stock market and uh, they have for before in company coming to to ipo they have to get approval from sebi okay security exchange and board of india because they are the approving authority for the for this uh, listing okay and about we have seen like the companies will get listed in two stock exchanges no we'll see about the two stock exchange a small brief in uh, bombay stock exchange there are around 5311 companies have listed in shares as of january 13 2023 so in bombay stock exchange there are around 5311 companies trading in that stock exchange so that much companies are listed and they are trading in the stock exchanges in bombay stock exchange and in national stock exchange around 2000 113 companies have been listed on the stock exchange as of december 31 2022 okay so here uh, in bombay stock exchange more companies are traded 5311 and in national stock exchange around 2113 companies are traded and both the headquarters is in mumbai maharashtra and now we'll see about the ipo companies fedfina fedfina this is a nbfc arm of federal bank we all know federal bank no the federal bank's nbfc is the state fina it is a nbfc okay and fresh issue of 750 crores in ipo they are doing fresh issue of rupees 750 crores and offer for sale is 7.03 crores first uh, i will tell you what is this uh, fresh issue and offer for sale fresh issue means uh, that uh, that fitfina itself fitfina company itself is issuing this uh, um, shares offer for sale means already see if anyone assume this company a yeah. this company already some companies will be having their shares in this see for uh, if b is holding some 30 percentage c will be holding some 20 percentage now this b and c company is also selling their shares means this is offer for sale okay so see for example b company is having 30 percentage in a company and c company is having 10 percentage okay so remaining 60 percentage is full of a it is there now here this 60 percentage is called the fresh issue here what we are reading of fresh issue so it is company's own shares offer for sale means this b and c is having their shares in a they are providing they are also selling its shares means that is offer for sale here see around 7.03 crores shares by federal bank and true north fund via llp so this uh, federal bank and true north fund they are having their shares in fitfin they are also selling 7.03 crores shares In, during this ipo i think you can understand so yes own fund is called fresh issue if uh, some other companies are having their uh, stake in a then it is called offer for sale and i have told you in before no like they will be listing this because they need funds for some investment or some whatever their internal needs see for fedfina if you they are, they have come for ipo because they are going to utilize their fund on tire own capital and future capital needs and offer expenses so fitfina whatever the funds coming from this they will be using for this purpose and ireda indian renewable energy development agency the fresh issue they are going to issue 40.31 crore equity shares the fresh issue means company's own shares and offer for sale 26.88 crore equity shares by the president of india president of india is having shares in this ireda so president of india is going to give 26.88 crore equity shares okay and this utilization 
where, where this IRED is going to utilize this uh, funds is capital based augmentation, future capital needs and for lending purpose. Because for IPO if they are coming means they need funds for some purpose. So that is the utilization we are seeing what, for what they are going to utilize. And EPAC durable. Their fresh ratio is 400 crores. And the offer, offer for sale is 1.3 crore equity shares by promoters and investors. And utilization is capital expenditure, loan repayment and corporate purposes. Next is Sewerage Estate Developers IPO. Fresh ratio is up to 400 crores. And no offer for sale. No offer for sale means no shareholders are there or no uh, two ways there. Shareholders will not be there or the shareholders are not willing to sell their stake. Okay. And this utilization they will be use, using for debt to payment, land acquisition and general corporate purposes. So we have seen about what is IPO and what are all the companies coming for IPO and what they are going to do with that fund. We have seen this much. Now about SEBI. Chairperson is Madhabi Puri Bach. Headquarters is in Mumbai, Maharashtra, and it is established in 1992. Next, we are going to see about UPI Light. We have we all would have heard about UPI. First, we'll see what is this UPI. UPI means it stands for Unified Payment Interface. What is this Unified Payment Interface means? Like uh, this was developed by NPCA uh, for sending payment. Uh, easily we can send payment. That is what they have brought this UPI. You, by using mobile number you can add and you can transfer money. Unified Payment Interface. And for every UPI ID, you will be having a VPA. Here it is. VPA means virtual payment address so this virtual payment address by which by entering this virtual payment address you can receive money that is called virtual payment address so for every you have seen in your apps like phone pay or google pay you will be you will be having your mobile number at last you will be having a 2 ibl at ok spi like that that you will be having now that are called virtual payment address so already we are having upi now federal bank they uh, add uh, brought this uh, UPI light. The reason behind this is it allows you to send money without entering UPI pin. Basically in UPI you, know, you will be having a pin number which will be uh, 4 to 6 digit. Okay for UPI pin will be 4 to 6 digit. So it will be some time taking you know once you have to send money you have to enter a UPI pin and that and then money will go this is called uh, this is the process but in upi light uh, some small value payments you can make uh, without entering a upi pin that is called upi light so for emergency needs you can use this uh, and say digital payments offline you don't need like internet uh, to do this because in upi pin you should be connected to internet then UPI pin need to be entered, then only during UPI the money will go. But in UPI light, uh, no internet, no internet is required, no need to enter a pin. This UPI light, it was introduced by RBI in September 2022. And this UPI light minimizes the burden on the core banking system. What is a CBS? CBS means a uh, See this on this only banks will be working CBS. It is called core banking system. Uh, core banking system. What we can tell example is, see for example you have opened an account in Delhi, but you can operate that account in Mumbai also. So see core banking system. Simple example we can tell is, if you open an account in a Delhi branch, you are not the customer of the Delhi branch. You are the customer of the bank not branch so this is called cbs cbs means core banking system like a customer can operate their account in any branches of that bank this is called cbs because the branch banks work on cbs and this is bra and if upi light is there and uh, so every transaction happens without uh, internet and without uh, pin also 
so some cbs will have less work see every transaction you are doing it will go to cbs and come in normal transactions if you are doing f rtgs imps or upi first it will go to cbs then only transaction will happen so in this case upi right transaction will happen without cbs help so see cbs uh, too much work too much burden on the cbs it won't be there so transaction happen without uh, getting the cbs disturbed and about npca what does npca do is we will be operating retail payments and settlement systems in india and it is an initiative of rbi what is a settlement system means that neft uh, rtj central is there no that are called uh, like if they if money is sent through neft rtgs it will get settled no like it will be getting getting deposited on the ground that is called settlement system okay and this is initiative of reserve bank of india and indian banks association under the provisions of payment and settlement system act 2007 and it is headquarters is in mumbai maharashtra okay for npc it was uh, under the payment and settlement act and it is an initiative of rbi and in indian bank association and uh, we have seen two things in the first screen we have screen about upi and upi light also we are going to see the transaction limits in them okay we will see per day like for uh, in upa per day transaction limit is rupees 1 lakh uh, as per npca okay and for bill and uh, merchants the amount is rupees 5 lakh bill payment and merchant it is 5 lakh uh, and uh, like daily transfer limit it is you know it can be changed from bank to bank it is banks uh, discretion they can set from 25000 rupees to 1 lakh rupees and this current affairs we have, this we have learned no in upi lite per day transaction limit is per transaction up to 500 only maximum community usage is per day it is 4000 and maximum balance in there it will be only 2000 only you can add in upi lite how it is means you have to first add the funds to upi lite so that after that you don't need internet in you know, in your upi lite wallet funds will be there so maximum you can add 2000 rupees only and per day maximum you can use 4000 rupees only and per transaction limit is 500 so see the difference between uh, why they have set this limits means uh, to because the uh, misuse might happen in this uh, because uh, if they if somebody has your phone and you pay pin means misuse might happen so npca they have set this limits uh, so even sometime misuse happens means amount will be can be reduced to less extent that is why this limits are there so this is the difference between upi transaction limit in upi and upi lite because this is in introduced by federal bank now we will see something about federal bank federal bank headquarters is in kochi kerala and ceo is shyam srinivasan tagline is your perfect banking partner and it was established in 23 april 1931 so federal bank has introduced upi lite okay friends thanks for watching our channel and please don't forget to like subscribe and share our channel to your friends also and uh, we are in almost all the platforms and kindly subscribe in all our platforms also platforms are provided here and thanks for watching our channel thank you friends